I've got this patch here on my poly end synth which is called Asher 3 down low and the way I've reconfigured it is I've got it in three separate sounds if I go to the grid you'll see that it's a 3x3 three three. so I've got this sound on the blue this on the yellow and I've got this sound on the purple Wouldn't it be fantastic if you could play all those sounds at once, sort of really old school. In the old days, I used to have lots of MIDI keyboards and MIDI synthesizers that I could obviously MIDI together and layering it all into what we used to call a MIDI soup. So instead of these three separate sounds, I'm gonna change the layout because I can now with the new firmware. And I'm gonna go into this layout here, which is called three in one. Now, I've only got one colour, which is the blue, but listen. I've got three sounds all together. So if we go into the mixer, I could turn down the blue and the yellow. Just have the magenta up, turn that down, bring up the yellow. Turn that down, bring up the blue. You're getting the idea, no doubt. So turn them all up. Obviously mix them to taste. And that's really fantastic, isn't it? So, yeah, we're talking about version 1.3.0 of the PolyN synth firmware which came out a couple of weeks ago. There are a few things of lesser interest to me in this firmware update but they will interest other people. The first big thing for me is this layering and that's what I've used on this patch here. Well, I, I haven't used it, it's actually like it by default. Uh, the thing I did in the first place is that I separated it out into those separate sounds so you can see how it actually works. So I've got my own version of this scene. So if I go to Atcha 3 down low, Les 3 by 3, if I go to that, okay, I don't want to save that. So this is my, 3x3 three three version of this. The sounds I'm using here are uh, PHZ Resonant Lift on the blue, Sad Flowers, which is a real favourite of mine in this new synth, which I'll talk about in a minute, the DWA, and on the uh, purple synth I've got DVAS. So blue, yellow, and magenta. Now, if I go into the grid again, and I change the grid type turning C1, I'm gonna change this to uh, three and one. Now I've got these three stacked one on top of the other. Pretty lovely, isn't it? I think I may have turned the sequences off for this. Yes, but on the original one, I think there are sequences actually turned on. Let's go back to that. So sequence. Yeah, there's a sequence on the blue, an arpeggiator on the yellow, and an arpeggiator on the magenta. So, so there's a lot of movement in there. If I hold shift, It's a pretty powerful, complicated sound, isn't it? So that is layering, and that is new to this firmware update. And it's brilliant, isn't it? Here's a patch I made up using one PHZ sound and two DWAs. 
and it's I've called it well it's based on one of Atchia's patches but I've called it Les Massif and it is just a giant patch isn't it right let's go to the next item and this is probably the most exciting item in this firmware update and that is the new DWA engine so if we go to scenes and again I'm going to pick one of Atcher's scenes because I really like what he does let's pick Pop Dancer and this is brilliant this one so call this one up so we've got not a layer but we've got a 3x3 we've got on the blue synth wild diva on the yellow we've got passengers and on the magenta or purple we've got kicking hats so if i press a pad on kicking hats you can hear i've got this literally what it says on the tin a kick drum and a hi-hat on the yellow i've got this um, sequence running on this passenger sound on the blue this wild diva sound so what I can do is I can press the shift and press a pad on the magenta synth the kicking hats get this beat going and then I'll hold the shift and press this root note on the yellow and then with the blue I can just over the top of it Let's just turn the uh, the blue synth down a bit maybe turn the whole thing up a little bit fantastic isn't it so you've got a really good little groove going there all from this single unit this poly N synth I've done a couple of versions of uh, Atcher's scene of my own I'll call this one up Atcher Pop Dancer Les 2 and in this one I've got kick drum and hi-hats if I press different pads get different Still learning how this works but you've got they're all in the same tempo but just a different way of playing the the two sounds basically the way DWA works is that it's two very straightforward samples layered on top of each other with loops and various things and of course you can add the effects so with this one for instance I could change the direction see this one down here let's get this going I'll change the direction and hear the hi-hats going backwards probably do the same thing with the the kick that's the kick going backwards and you can change the loop start the loop with lots of things you can do I've already watched a video on this uh, firmware update by oscillator sync he goes into the DWA in real detail I'm not going to do that because I don't feel that I understand it well enough yet so the tempo, if we change the tempo, tempo is set here. So if I speed this up to something like, I don't know, 146. Then obviously that speeds up as well, which is brilliant. Let's bring that down again to 120. So that's what I've got on the magenta. On the yellow, I've got the passengers. And over here, I've actually got on the blue... I've got this sad flowers sound again which uses this lead tonal sound I think on both of the samples and I pitched it up a bit so I'm gonna get this going again gonna get the drums going gonna set the yellow synth going and I'm gonna just jam about with the blue synth
Now, if you want to change the samples, the synth comes with a load of samples built into it. So you rotate this top left button here and you'll see all these samples come up so you can change the sample that you're on, those different ones here. I've actually loaded a couple of my own samples into this, Grand Piano C2 and Grand Piano C4. And I've made a patch, a scene, well I keep calling it patch, but it's scene, isn't it? With this piano sound, let's just load this in. So that's a straightforward piano sample. But what I did was change the direction to playing backwards. So. That's the piano notes that I sampled playing backwards. You get the idea. So you can get a fantastic mix of things. Now you hear that loop with the reverse. Almost sounds like an oboe, doesn't it? Obviously it's early days, my programming isn't that great at the moment, but I'm learning and it's uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting, isn't it, what's ahead? So that is the DWA engine, sample-based engine, and it's really brilliant. And don't forget, you can load your own samples in as well, so that's even better, isn't it? Very, very tweakable. The other bits we've got, we can change the grid layouts, as you've already seen. Some of these you can only play in note mode, so the three-in-one, uh, the one I showed you earlier, that's only available in note mode. There's also a two plus one. So if we go to this one here, which is another Atcher patch, which is two plus one, load this one in, and you can see we've got two colors. So we go to the mixer and if I turn the blue down, that leaves only the yellow. If I turn the blue up, brings it back in, turn the yellow down and that's just the blue but the magenta is all on its own. So this is the 2 plus 1 grid layout, show you there, see 2 plus 1 but you can only get notes, you can't have this in chord mode. You can also change the colours with this new update. To show this off, let's go to a grid layout, which is three times three. Right, so there we've got three by three. Right, so go into the system settings, colours, synth one. I've already changed that to cobalt. I can change it to something else. Let's change it to lime. Lime's really nice, isn't it? I like that. Come down to synth two, change that to, I don't know, green. Too, too similar to the lime, isn't it? Cyan is nice. Look at that, brilliant. So you can change the colours. Now, you're not stuck with just blue, uh, yellow and purple. Right, so I've got one small gripe and I'll show you what that is. Let's go to the DWA patch. So if I hold shift and engine, that brings up the list of patches. The only problem with this is that if I change this to see how long it takes to load in i understand these are samples they do take a, a while to load in the trouble is it takes an eternity and then you go past it because you think you haven't turned it enough it's literally one touch on the knob and eventually it will load in so it's very very long to load in i mean i get that i don't really have a problem with that what I'm saying is that 
you know, you can turn it and then you can jump six or seven because you don't think you've turned it. There may be some way of changing this so that it's not so fussy. See what I mean? So if I want death flute, it's, you know, you can go past it and come back to it. It's literally one touch. Obviously there's a click every time you turn this slightly and that is just one patch. So I think that is basically the firmware update. Obviously I'm not a skilled programmer. I uh, haven't had this synth for all that long and I've been working on lots of other poly and things. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited about this, this particular update. I think there's lots of really good things in this. I'm particularly excited about this DWA engine. So I'm gonna end with a little bit of a jam out on that. So there we are. And the really good thing about uh, these firmware updates with PolyN is that they're so easy to do. You simply go to the PolyN site, you download the update, which takes seconds. You take your card out of the back, put it in the little dongle they provide you with, put that in your uh, computer. You copy the file over, take the uh, SD card out, put it back in your machine, and then you go to the screen knob here, system settings, Firmware update, update firmware, and it gives you a list of various ones you've got in there. Obviously the latest one was 1.3.0. Click on that and then it does it all for you. It's very, very simple. I've got some machines which are a bit of a nightmare to update. This one, I never worry about it. It's really quick and efficient. So if you own a PolyEnd synth and you haven't updated to this firmware yet, I strongly urge you to do so because it's loads of fun. Thanks very much for watching and you'll see me in my next video.